And that like Ryan Walter said, Dallas turning their back on Earl. That ain't true. Right. I want him to realize how the city of Dallas will do you. See, everybody was riding with him. See, everybody will always ride with somebody to one thing negative happened and they turn on them. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. 700 push-ups. Yeah. And, and and then that was just to get, get No, that's get the warm up. up. That's the warm up. Then we start working out. Man, like. And we like, did that like three days a week. When you seen it, because mm -hmm. you, you watch boxing, I'm going back to the fight because that's the big elephant for me in the room. Like, mm -hmm. when you seen the skill set of of Terrence Crawford, was it something that you didn't expect or did you expect him to play the role he played? As far as the way nah, he boxed. Listen, you know, how much, you know how many people I had to sell? <laughs> I oh. lost money. But I'm saying, you knew the nigga <laughs> skill set, you don't watch yeah, his fight. But, but. But, but I feel like Earl was a better fighter, a better skill set and everything. And my, why I put money on Earl? I thought he mm -hmm. had the better skill set, in my opinion. That's even why I bet it on him. Even though you knew you weren't training him and you wasn't sure. I still bet it on him. They're my brother. I love him to death. Let me tell you I'm something. not finna put no money on nobody but Earl Spence. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something. I, you remind me of uh, the, the Rocky when, when when Rocky didn't go with Creed, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he mm -hmm. was at the house, you know, and he, he <laughs> No, he was at his restaurant watching the yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Stop the fight. Dangerous swing comes pressure on the body. What's up the fight? Uh, yeah, you, you didn't go to the fight, did you? Nah. Uh, See what I'm saying? Did you have to turn the, the TV off after a while? I couldn't watch it. See what Just I'm saying? Like Same thing. Did. Bro, I almost cried, bro. I'm like, like, a lot of people probably capping, bro. What's up the fight? Oh my, bro, I almost cried, bro. It hurt, it hurt a lot no, of people. It hurt watching it, bro. I'm not going to lie. It I, did. I will never watch that fight again, ever in my life, bro. I don't want to see it. I've been off the internet for days, bro. I don't even like going on Instagram, none all of that, the memes bro. that put up against I don't want to see none of that. that. I really like mad, bro. Did you think? That's like, you know, and I ain't, and I ain't, I ain't trying, I, you know, I salute the members. I'm not, I'm not the FOI, but like I seen Farrakhan talk about it. You get a beat down from people you need a friend. Like, I guess Spence needs a friend to take. But the thing about it was when I when I seen the clip when Farrakhan was talking about it, the people in the audience was laughing. I didn't I didn't find that funny. But what you did know Farrakhan what I say? Wait yeah. a minute. What did Farrakhan? No, Farrakhan do? just said it was it was hard to watch the fight. You know what I'm saying? And then he said Earl Spence needs a friend. And when he said that, everybody started laughing. And I like ain't nothing funny about he that. He didn't mean. Like, I don't. No, think no, he no. It it's not the no. That's not. I'm not saying right. he meant it. No, 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 no that's no. not what I'm no, saying. No, I know that, but I'm saying I'm for saying them he, to be. I'm talking for them to be laughing. I think they took it in the wrong way of how he really meant it. No, for sure. But at the it, even, but even in that regard, I feel like it wasn't funny on no level. Right. Wait, even man. if you didn't, even if you did mean it in a laughable way, that wasn't funny. But what right. about all the memes, you know, there's so many. That's why you scout the internet. I, I mean, it's it. everywhere. The Michael Jordan meme was was one when he cried that time and it was on everything. They put, they, they got the Martin meme with Earl Spence's face beside it. They playing games on that internet, man. It's no, not, I seen it. They, I can't. They, they, but hey, that's listen. social media, the way how it is today. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking to him like he said it affected him like like nah, real it, but, and I know it affects people because they love and that's Earl. Like, and that's like Ryan Walter said, Dallas turning their back on Earl. That ain't true. Right. I want him to realize how the city of Dallas will do you. See, everybody was riding with him. See, everybody will always ride with somebody to one thing negative happened and they turn on him. I turn on Facebook, everybody laughing at him. So I man. want him to understand what the city of Dallas will do to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People ain't loyal. you. Ain't what it came on here. But, he but that's said not true. That's not true, bro. Back. He said that, everybody. No, that's not. That's what they do. Hold on, hold on, listen. People are laughing. That's a fact. Because Ryan Water said people are laughing on the internet. That is a fact. But, bro, I was just on the phone with with, with, with my brother yesterday. Not Earl, but somebody that be with him every day. And in the background, Earl was in the background. Everybody asking him to take pictures with him. Saying, what's up, champ? I heard him on the phone. You see what I'm saying? And then all the people that rock with him in real life, bro, he, listen, bro, Earl ain't trained with me and people think it's an issue. I ain't no issue with me. That's my brother. It's like me and my blood brother have a situation where we don't, we go at time mm -hmm, and we don't talk to mm -hmm. each other. But he's still my brother. He, like I said, we watched the Super Bowl together. If he called me, we stayed 10 minutes from each other. I'm going to pull up. It ain't no question. So the, the real ain't turned their back on him.
The you know what I'm saying? Really but, even, but even whenever, but even whenever um, he said that, I don't know if you watched the whole thing, but I even said no, to I him. I didn't watch the whole thing. But I, I even said to him after he said that, I said, not everybody, because yes, you, you have you have a lot of people who still, I saw personally on Instagram, on Facebook, stuff mm -hmm. like that, who say, you know, everybody had their ups and downs, but we rocking with you regardless. Facts. Just like, and he related him to the Cowboys. And I'm like, shoot, Cowboys is America's team, and as much as they keep losing, losing yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody still loved them. Jerry, 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 Jerry Jones was at that boxing match. No, nah, I know. I know. He was there. Yeah, he was there. Listen, let my me, partner let, was sitting behind him. I know. Yeah, let, let, let me. And you know, and he rocked with Earl. You know, that's why he was there. Yeah. Um, I just, man, okay, December coming up. Mm -hmm. Is do, in your in your mind is that too soon or is that? Or is that the right time in, for them to do this next fight? Earl said he wouldn't want to do it in December. Earl a dog, bro. Earl like that, bro. Like, straight up. He like that. Now, if you want my personal opinion? Yeah. My personal opinion, I feel like my bro should go beat up Keith Thurman. This is my, this is my personal opinion. I feel like, hey. That's practice. Hit Crawford up. Say, fam. We still locked in. Boom. Just give me... Let me go get Keith Thurman real quick because he on the internet doing all this woofing because I lost. But when I was when I was training Earl, Keith Thurman didn't want no parts of him. Keith Thurman didn't even know his name. You can go on YouTube. Keith Thurman had a million and one excuses. Mm -hmm. So bad, I lost this fight. Say, like, bro, let us stay locked in for that fight. Just let me go beat up on Keith Thurman real quick and let's run it back. That's that's how I want. That's what I want Earl to do. But I'm not Earl. Earl a dog. I believe Earl gonna go straight into it. I don't want him to, but that ain't I can't I ain't got no control over that. Okay, because you know this before you move on. It's a contract. It's a contract in place. I'm still it's a contract in place. No, I get it. Um, two things. Cause we skipped over this. Um, I'm not sure if you asked this question, but when Earl lost all his weight and to fight this fight, mm -hmm. um, do you think that that impacted the way in which he fought because he lost it so quick? I believe that the weight cut did have an issue with the, with, you know, because, you know, from my understanding, some things didn't go right in camp and stuff like that. So we're not making no excuses, but it's a fact that some things transpired in camp and that he had to lose the weight a certain way because something happened. You know what I'm saying? So I do believe that affected him. But like Earl said, I'm from the old law. I'm not making no excuses. And even if I had one, I'm not going to tell you what it was. Right. Uh, and I see that with him too. And then the next question do you feel like, because I hear people keep saying the wreck still impact him. I hear people saying that too. Do you feel, you knew him after the wreck. And you were before training, the wreck. And before the wreck. And you were training with him even then. Do you feel like um, that wreck still affects him today? Not just mentally. I'm talking physically. So, I'm going to say this. I trained him for the Pacquiao fight. That was after, yeah, the, after wreck, the wreck, right? Because right. Earl Daddy called me to train him for Danny Garcia, but for some reason, it never worked out. But when he got the Danny fight, okay, boom, we rocked it, we locked in. And from what I seen in the, uh, the, when Garcia. I trained him for uh, Pacquiao, mm -hmm. there was nothing wrong with him. Square he, business. He was just about, like he from was. A, from a physical standpoint, he was... From a physical standpoint, he was ready. Like, Just like he was before. I, and I'm going to tell you something. I believe, this is my personal opinion. What was that? I feel like that, I feel I feel like that uh, it was uh, God stepped in. Yeah. I believe it was God saving Manny Pacquiao from Earl. That's what I honestly believe. Really? Nah, that's what I believe. Earl was going to kill that boy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.